Hi guys, welcome back. This time we are doing 4C applications, which are worded problems. Yay! And it's involving angles of elevation and depression. Excellent. So, first thing we've got to remember, here's a diagram, here's a cliff, and there's a ground level. So, the angle of elevation is easy. If you're standing here and you're looking upwards, this is your line of sight. The angle of elevation is taken from the horizontal and in between your line of sight, and there is an angle of elevation there. So the angle of elevation and depression are always taken from the horizontal, which is that line across there. So that's easy. The tricky bit is if you're doing the angle of depression. So the angle of depression from the top here, a lot of people draw the diagram, they draw the line of sight, and they say that's the angle of depression, this one here. It is not. You have to, you have to put in the line, the horizontal line across there, and the angle of depression is from the horizontal and the line of sight. The same as the other one. It's the same rule. There's the angle of depression. One thing to note is that the angle of depression and elevation are actually the same because if you look down here, they're alternate angles. If you remember our parallel line theories, these are parallel lines, these are transversal, these are alternate angles and they are equal. So it's the same here, angle of elevation and angle of depression. Excellent. Let's do some word questions. <clears throat> Read the question carefully first. A bird is at a height of 250 metres. The angle of elevation of its nest to the bird is 35 degrees. Find the horizontal distance of the bird to its nest to the nearest centimetre. Let's draw a picture first. So, here's our ground level. Here's our bird's nest. Don't have to draw anything fancy. The angle of elevation to the bird is 35 degrees. So there's our line of sight. We know this is 35 degrees, and here's our birdie flying up there. Okay, it says the bird is at a height of 250 metres. So the vertical height is 250 metres, and there is our right angle. Because that's the horizontal, and that's the vertical height, so we've got our right angle. So now we've drawn our, um, our triangle with all the information that's from, from the words up there. So that's our first step. Now, what do we have to find? A lot of people don't read this carefully. Find the horizontal distance of the bird to its nest. The horizontal distance is this distance across here. So that is x there. It's the horizontal distance. Not this distance here. That's the distance between the bird and its nest, as in a line of flight. So there's our horizontal distance. Excellent. Now we've got a triangle, and we do the same process. There's the angle, this one's called the opposite. This one's the hypotenuse, so this one is the adjacent. Which rule do we use? Stop, cut, toa. So I think tan. Tan theta equals opposite over adjacent. Okay, write the rule. Now we substitute the values in. Tan 35 degrees equals the opposite is 250 over the adjacent, which is x. Excellent. Now you know the X is on the bottom line, we do the whole switchy thing. So, we switch that, so it's 250 over tan 35 degrees. Now you have to show all that working out before you get your calculator. Now you turn your calculator on, and type in 250 divided by tan 35, and you press enter. And my answer is, it says it's the nearest centimetre. And be careful, we're in metres, so I'll just write down the answer. I got 357.0370. That's metres. And this is, is it a sensible answer? 250, yep, yeah, that's 357. Seems pretty sensible. But that's in metres, it says to the nearest centimetre. So hopefully you realise the centimetres are that. So it's 0.03 of a metre, which is three centimetres, but it's seven at the end. So if we chop it off there, we're going to get 357 metres, and it's round that up to four, and so four centimetres. So, or you could write 357.04 metres. They are both the same. That's saying 357 metres and four centimetres, because it's 0.04, or four centimetres there. And your answer in words, the horizontal distance is, and there's your answer. Excellent. 
Let's go over here and we'll do another question. All right, here's the next question. By the way, hopefully you copied down that last question and the notes. All right, if we read this one, it says, two buildings are 57 metres apart and are 158 and 237 metres tall. Find the angle of elevation from the top of the shorter building to the top of the taller building. All right, they love these questions in the textbook. So draw a nice big diagram. So there's a the ground level. We have two buildings. One's a shorter building. as neat as you can, and it says the, they are 57 metres apart. So this distance here is 57 metres apart, those two there. Excellent. So it says, what else does it say? Find the angle of elevation from the top of the shorter building to the top of the taller building. So there's the top of the shorter building, and there's the top of the taller building. So what we want to do, there's our line of sight, so we want the angle of elevation. So remember that's always taken from the horizontal. So you notice here, we have just drawn a triangle. Can everyone see that? So that angle there, that gives us a triangle. And there's our right angle. Excellent. So there's our, um, and what information do we have? We've got, one is 158. So this one here is 158 metres tall. And this one here is 237 metres tall. Excellent. So we have to try and figure out as much information from this triangle as we can. So we know this bottom length is 57 metres. So I can write that in, 57 metres. Now, we can work out this height here from there to there. We know the taller building is 237, the smaller one is 158. So we have to work out the difference between those. So this one would be 62 plus 37, that's 99 from my mental maths. I get 99 metres. Hopefully I'm correct. No. 79. <laughs> 79 metres. I was just tricking you then. 79 metres. Good job, everyone. Thanks, little Johnny in the back corner, for picking that mistake up. Even I sometimes make mistakes, not very often, but hey. All right. And it says find the angle of elevation. So the angle of elevation is this theta. That's the angle of elevation that we want. So let's redraw this triangle over here. Forget all the rest of it. Let's draw. We only want that triangle. So there's that. Whoops. That's a, there's theta, 57 metres. And this one is 79 metres. Not 99. Thanks, Johnny. Okay, and there's our right angle. So now we've turned these words into a simple triangle and we can solve for the angle theta. So this one's opposite. This one's adjacent. Opposite adjacent is tan. Let's write our rule. Tan theta equals opposite over adjacent. Excellent. Let's fill in the information. Tan theta equals 79 over adjacent, which is 57. Put brackets around it. You can solve for theta. And I need my calculator. All right, I've got my calculator. So, first step, we're going to get rid of the tan, remember? So you press shift tan. Tan minus 1. 79 over 57. Seven. And now, that's all you work now. Now you chuck it into your calculator. So you type that into your calculator and I get 54.1888. So to two decimal places, I get 54.19 degrees. So the angle of elevation from the shorter building to the taller building is 54.19 degrees. And that's how you do it. Any questions? No? Great to see. All right, one more example. So, so far we've done examples with angle of elevation. We haven't done any angle of depression yet. So, I made up a question here. A boy spots a fish from the top of a 60 metre cliff out at sea, and it's got an angle of elevation of 40 degrees. Find the distance of the fish to the base of the cliff. Okay, let's draw a picture. There's my cliff. The little boy is there, and assuming he's not like 1.5 metres tall, he's right on the ground level. So, that's an assumption we'll make. And the cliff is 60 metres tall, so I'll write in 60 metres. And he spots a fish out to sea down there. It says the angle of depression is 40 degrees. So a mistake people make is they write there 40 degrees, that is incorrect. So you have to put that horizontal line in, that is 40 degrees there. So, now you've got two options. We need an angle inside this um, triangle. So you can either say this angle here is 50 degrees, 
Uh, so that's a right angle. For 90 minus 40 is 50. Or using our theory of um, alternate angles, that's the angle of depression. It's the same as, as the angle of um, elevation from there. So you can say that's 40 degrees there. So you're going to get the same answer regardless. So I'm just going to use that, that angle there as 40 degrees. So it'll change your workings out if you did that one, but the answer in the end will be the same. So what are we trying to find? Find the distance of the fish there to the base of the cliff. So it's that distance across there. There's X. So there's my triangle. 40 degrees, this one is the opposite. That's hypotenuse, so this one must be the adjacent. Which rule is this? It's tan. Tan theta equals opposite over adjacent. Tan 40 degrees equals 60 over the adjacent, which is X. X is on the bottom line, so we do the switch thing again. X equals 60 over tan 40 degrees. That is all your workings out you need. Then, and only then, can you get your calculator and you type in 60. Whoops, where's my calculator? Come on. Okay, 60 divided by tan, tan 40 equals. I get 71.51. 71.51. And that is the distance. Is it a sensible answer? That's 60 metres. 71.51 metres. Yes, it's a sensible answer. Answer that in words. And let's have a look at your homework. Four, exercise 4C, page 282. 1 to 5 and 10 and 11, you're going to have a go at their tricky ones. 1 to 5, they're all wordy questions. Don't forget, smash that like button and do your homework. See you soon, kids. Bye.